فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا دا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمد اخر الانبياء في الدنيا عصرا واجلهم يوم القيامه شانا وذكرا صلى الله وملائكته والصالحون من خلقه كما وحد الله وعرف به ودعا اليه اما بعد ان شاء الله تعالى i will be speaking about the situation and how the pious predecessors the salaf how they dealt with the fitna pertaining to women how did they deal with it ali ibn zayd he said sa'id ibn al-musayyib rahimahullah sa'id ibn al-musayyib rahimahullah sa'id ibn al-musayyib was one of the students of abu huraira he said ما يئس الشيطان من شيء الا اتاه من قبل النساء شيطان does not give up on a person except he comes to them from the angle of the women whenever shaytan believes that he's about to give up on you what he does to you is he comes to you from the angle of the women وقال لنا سعيد سعيد said to them سعيد بن المسيب said to the people in the gathering وهو ابن 84 سنة سعيد بن المسيب was 84 years of age at this time وقد ذهبت إحدى عينيه and one of his eyesights was gone so an 84 year old whose eyesights was gone he said to the people in the gathering ما من شيء أخوف عندي من النساء there is nothing I fear more than women if we ponder on the statement of this great noble scholar Shaytan will try to come to you from every angle possible and every means there is every way that he can come to you if he does not succeed he will finally try his best to come to you from the angle of women because that's one angle that the majority of the people fall and he is at the age of 84 and he's saying what he's at the age of 84 he's lost one of his eyesight and even then what is he saying there is nothing I fear more than women. Also, that statement of Sa'id Musayyib, by the way, it's narrated in, in the book Sifatul Safwa. Also, Sa'id ibn al Musayyib, rahimahullah, he said, Ma ba'atha Allahu nabiyan, Allah never sent a prophet. Illa lam yais iblis an yulikhu bin nisa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he never sent a prophet. Except that Shaytan did not give up in destroying that people by the women. There was no nation before us that came before this Prophet of ours, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That shaitan gave up on them, except that he came to them from the angle of the women. So it's not something exclusive to us only. It was also the previous nations. Now I'm going to tell you a long story, inshaAllah ta'ala. Pay attention to it. Abdurrahman ibn Zayd ibn Aslam, Abdurrahman ibn Zayd ibn Aslam, he said, Kharaja Ata ibn Yasar, wa Sulaiman ibn Yasar. Ata ibn Yasar and Sulaiman ibn Yasar are two brothers. They are what? They are two brothers. Rahimahumullah, may Allah have mercy upon both of them. They're two brothers and they're two noble individuals. They both went Hajina min al Medina. They went for Hajj, but they departed from Medina. They left from Medina. And they had followers with them. They had followers with them. Until they came to a place called Al Abwa. They came to a place called what? Al Abwa. They stayed there. Suleiman, what he did was, he told his brother Ata, we need to go to do some of our business. 
So Ata was left in the house alone. Ata said, I'm going to pray while you guys do what you want to do in your deal with your businesses. He stayed in the room, in the house, or in the place, and he worshipped Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. While he was praying, فَدَخَلَتْ عَلَيْهِ إِمْرَأَةٌ مِنَ الْأَعْرَابِ جَمِيلَةٌ A woman, from the women, a Bedouin woman, beautiful, extremely beautiful, she entered onto him. فَلَمَّا رَآهَا عَطَى When Ata saw this woman, ظَنَّ أَنَّ لَهَا حَاجَةً He thought that she had a, a need. Because in the Salah, when the woman came, she called him, and he thought that she has something that she wants to talk to him about, something important. فَأُوْجَزَ فِي صَلَاتِهِ He shortened his prayer quickly. He finished his prayer as quick as he could. And then he said to her, أَلَكَ حَاجَ Do you have any needs, sister? Do you have, any, do you have anything? Do you want anything? قَالَتْ نَعَمْ She said, yes, I do. Ata then said to her, Mahi, what is it that you need from me? She said, قُمْ Stand up. فَأَصِبْ مِنِّي كَمِئْ زِنَا with me. Stand up and commit zina with me. She said, I'm a woman who's full of desires. وَلَيْسَ لِي بَعْلٌ I have no man to fulfill my desires. Ata ibn Yasar said to her, إِلَيْكَ عَنِّي Get away from me. Get, get, go away from me as far as you can. Do not burn me and yourself in the hellfire. Don't make us get burnt in the hellfire. لا تحرقني ونفسك بالنار Don't burn me and yourself in the hellfire. ونظر إلى إمرأة جميلة And he looked at her and he saw a beautiful woman. And she tried her best to get his attention and tried to get him to commit zina with her. وَيَأْبَى And he was refusing and saying no. And as he was saying no to her فَجَعَلَ يَبْكِي عَطَاء ابن أَبِي رَبَى عَطَاء ابن يَسَارِ Ata ibn Yasar started to cry and said to her, Wayhak ilayka adni, leave me alone. And tears were pouring from his eyes. And as he as time went on, Ishtadda Buka'u, he's crying and his tears were becoming more. When the woman looked at him and she saw the tears flowing from his eyes, and she saw how emotional he was. بَكَتِ الْمَرْأَةُ لِبُكَائِهِ She started to cry because of his crying. فَجَعَلَ يَبْكِي He started to cry and she was crying with him in front of him. وَالْمَرْأَةُ بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ تَبْكِي And she's crying with him. فَبَيْنَ مَا هُوْ كَذَلِكَ As the situation was like that, him crying and her crying. إِذْ جَاءَ سُلَيْمَانِ بِنُ يَسَارِ Sulaiman, the brother, came back with the people that were with him. He came back. And when he came back, نظر إلى عطاء. He looked at his brother عطاء يبكي crying. والمرأة بين يديه تبكي في ناحية البيت. And the woman is crying on the other side of the room. كلما أتى ها بيبكي لبكاء لا يدري ما أبكاهما. He doesn't know what's making them both cry. He doesn't know why they're both crying. وجعل أصحابهما يأتون رجلا رجلا. And the people that were with Yasulaiman ibn Yasar, man after man was coming. Groups were coming in and they were coming in. كلما أتى رجل every time a person comes in and they see عطاء ابن يسار crying and they saw سليمان the brother ابن يسار crying and they see the woman crying they would cry with him the sound and the noise that were coming from the people became large and became loud وعلى الصوت فلما رأت العربية ذلك when the Bedouin beautiful woman, she saw this, she stood up and she left. فَقَامَ الْقَوْمُ The people stood up. Sulaiman ibn Yasar never asked his brother what was it, what was the story. فَلَبِثَ سُلَيْمَانُ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ وَهُوَ لَا يَسْأَلُ أَخَاهُ عَنْ قِصَّةِ الْمَرَأَةِ إِجْلَالًا لَهُ هَيْبًا He never asked his brother what was the story and what took place that day. He never asked him anything. He did that because of out of respect and love that he had for his brother. Because his brother was كان أسن منه was older than him in age. Then they came to both of them. They came to Egypt after doing their Hajj. After they did their Hajj, they went to Egypt together. They both stayed there as long as Allah willed for them to stay. بينما عطاء ذات ليلة النائم. One night, عطاء ابن يسار was sleeping. 
إذ استيقظ وهو يبكي and he woke up whilst crying فقال سليمان سليمان said to his brother ما يبكيك يا أخي my brother عطاء was making you cry why are you crying for فاشتد بكاؤه his crying became even more he said to him ما يبكيك يا أخي my brother what is making you cry he said رؤيا رأيتها الليلة I saw a dream tonight قال وما هي سليمان said what is it the dream that you saw he said to him, لا تخبر بها أحد ما دمت حيا. Don't tell anyone whilst you're alive. He said, رأيت يوسف النبي. I saw the Prophet of Allah, Yusuf عليه السلام, في النوم in my dream. فجئت أنظر إليه. I looked at Yusuf عليه السلام. فجئت أنظر إليه. I looked at Nabi Allah Yusuf. في من ينظر إليه. To see what he is looking at. فلما رأيت حسنه when I saw the beauty of Nabi Allah Yusuf بكيت I cried فنظر إلي في الناس Yusuf عليه السلام looked at me from the gathering of the people and then he said to me ما يبكيك أيها الرجل Nabi Allah Yusuf said to عطاء in the dream what is it that's making you cry oh man فقال فقلت عطاء said I said to Nabi Allah Yusuf in return بأبي أنت وأمي يا نبي الله I free my mother and my father for you O Prophet of Allah He said ذكرت ذكرتك I remembered you وامرأة العزيز and I remembered the woman that called you for the zina ومبتليت بها من أمرها and the suffering and the testing that you went through regarding her affairs وَمَا لَقِيْتَ مِنَ السِّجْنِ And the test that you went through in the prison, I remembered it. وَفُرْقَةُ يَعْقُوبِ And how you were taken away from your father. فَبَكَيْتُ مِنْ ذَلِكَ I cried because of that. وَجَعَلْتُ أَتْعَجَّبُ مِنْهُ And I was amazed with what you did, O Prophet of Allah. And then Yusuf looked at him and he said to him, فَهَلَّا تَعَجَّبْتَ Why wasn't you more fascinated with مِنْ صَاحِبِ الْمَرْأَةِ The man who the woman, Bedouin woman called him in Abwa. Why wasn't you more fascinated with him? فَعَرَفَتِ الَّذِي أَرَادَ And he recognized what she wanted from him. She recognized, he recognized what she wanted from him. He recognized what she wanted from him. فَبَكَيْتَ And you cry, and he cried. And you cried. وَاسْتَيْقَدْتَ بَاكِيًا And you woke up crying. Suleiman then said, O oh my brother, O oh my brother, وَمَا كَانَ مِنْ حَالِ تِلْكَ الْمَرَةِ What was the story of that woman? Because Suleiman doesn't know. He said to him the story. He told him the story. فَقَصَّ عَلَيْهِ أَعْطَاءَ الْقِصَّةِ He told him the story. فَلَمَّا أَقْبَرَ بِهَا سُلَيْمَانُ أَحَدَ فَمَا أَقْبَرَ بِهَا سُلَيْمَانُ أَحَدَ حَتَّى مَا تَعْطَاءَ Suleiman did not tell the story to anyone. Suleiman did not tell the story to anyone until Ata died. فَحَدَّثَ بِهَا إِبَعَدَّهُ إِمْرَأَةٌ مِنْ أَهْلِهِ And after Ata died, Suleiman told the story to a woman of his family. And then the story became very famous after Suleiman ibn Yasar died. And this story, Ibn al-Jawzi brought it in his kitab, Sifatul Safwa, the second volume, page 444. Brothers and sisters, the story has so many benefits that are in it. It shows you that these people and their situation when it came to the desires pertaining to women and how they dealt with it. And how they feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And because of that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He lifted their status. ولذلك, there's another scholar by the name of Ata ibn Abi Rabah. is another scholar. He said, لَوِئْتُ مِنْتُ عَلَى بَيْتِ مَالٍ لَكُنْتُ أَمِينًا Ata ibn Abi Rabah said, if I was ever entrusted with a with the Muslim treasurer, where the money, money of the Muslims are all at, if I was entrusted with it, la kuntu amin, and I will be very trustworthy. I will not take a penny from it. But he said, I don't trust myself with an ugly woman. But I don't trust myself with an ugly woman. And Imam with Dhabi straight away, he put his pen on it and he said, Sadaqa rahimahullah, he told the truth. 
And Imam Dhabi said, Ata told the truth. Because the hadith is very general. Because the Prophet said, Allah la yakhluwanda rajulu bi maratin fa inna thalithahum as A man should not be alone with a woman except that the shaytan is the third. Abi Hakim, Abi Hakim, he said, Kharaja Hassan ibn Abi Sinan, Rahimahullahu yawm al Eid. Hassan ibn Abi Sinan, one day he left on the day of Eid. Okay? He left on the day of Eid. When he came back, his wife said to him, Who is this? Hassan ibn Sinan. He, Rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy upon him. On a day of Eid, on a day of Eid, he went out. When he came back home, his wife said to him, Come imra'atin hasana. How many beautiful women have you seen today? Because it's an Eid day. Women are going to definitely dress up and whatnot. And there are those who are not going to obey Allah. Wa ta'ala. So how many beautiful women? And she's a wife. She, jealousy creeps in. So she said to him, How many beautiful women have you seen? And he went silent. When she became excessive in her questioning, he looked at her and he said, illa fi ibhami. My wife, I have not looked at except my finger. When I left you, until I came back to you. The minute I left, I did not look at except my finger. That's all I pondered on until I left and I came back. Al Hassan ibn Salih al Rahimahullah he said, Al Hassan ibn Salih al Rahimahullah he said, Ma isma sami'tu, I never heard. I never heard. Sorry, Al Hassan ibn Salih al Rahimahullah he said, I heard that Shaytan said to a woman, to the women, I mean, he said to a woman, that Shaytan said to the, a woman, Anta nisfu jundi, you are half my army. وَأَنْتَ سَهْمِي You are my arrow. الَّذِي أَرْمِهِ بِهِ In which I throw at people. فَلَا أُخْتِ I never get it. I don't miss it. وَأَنْتَ مَوْضُعُ سِرِّي And you're my positioning of hidden. You're my, you're my hidden agenda. وَأَنْتَ رَسُولِي You're my messenger. فِي حَاجَتِي In all of my affairs. You're the one who fulfills my desires and my matters for me. That I want to fulfill. Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah he said, ما بعث الله عز وجل نبيا الله he never brought a prophet and he never sent a prophet إلا وقد تخوف عليه الفترة من النساء except Allah put fear in that prophet regarding the affairs of the women the trials and the tribulations that come pertaining to women so inshallah ta'ala today's benefit revolves around that I will conclude there inshallah ta'ala subhanak allahumma bihamdik ashadu an la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh